and this is a, a source of a lot of referrals, uh, is the child who has, we've heard number one is acid peptic disease, number two is constipation, number three is irritable bowel, and we recognize that all three of those are in fact relatively commonly encountered in children. And so it's not at all surprising when one realizes that, that the number four entity is a combination of more than one of the three. And so, I have the child who has had acid peptic disease, has had endoscopy, they've had a proof for it, they give the child the medication, the acid peptic disease gets better, but the child is not relieved of the pain. Goes back to the doctor, oh, the acid peptic disease must not be fully treated. So they go on higher medicine, they go on stronger medicine, they go on longer regimens of medicine, when all the while the child is a little constipated. You have the child who has some irritable bowel, it looks very common. You do that, you get the child on the right diet, the parents come back, they're very frustrated. Why? The kid's still having some pain. The pain is a little different. Most of the time you ask the kids, is the pain different? They'll tell you yes. And the parents say, why didn't they tell me? Well, did you ever ask them, is it the same pain? It's belly pain. It's all belly pain, but there's different kinds of belly pain. And again, you have the child whose bowel movements have now normalized, but he has a little bit of heartburn. You give the child the proper regimen for that, all of the problems have uh, responded.